Okay, guys. Right now I'm in the process of transferring uh, my seedlings right here into my homemade hydroponic system. So first you're going to want to fill up the water. As you can see, the water's filled up. You want to fill it up just to the point where these little things will actually sit in the water. So how we're going to test to see if they actually do fit is put that top on, make sure it's nice and clicked in, and then we're going to go ahead and put one of these in, and then we'll see if it's if it's actually, and you can see water actually dripped out of that. So that is touching the water, obviously. Um, you can even kind of look, it might be too dark to see in there, but you can look through one of the other holes to see that it's, uh, it is sitting in the water. Now, this one is sitting about gay deep in the water. So, you know, you don't want it, you don't want it too shallow or the roots won't touch but you don't want it too deep where it's going to drown the plant. So basically, um, that's about perfect right there. Okay guys, the next thing that we're going to have to do is now put our, our seedling in the little grow basket. So I'm going to go ahead and dump out some of this get this sitting right at the right height still a little bit low or still a little high I mean. basically fill this back up. Really not too difficult. Now that Groton, that uh, rock wool stuff that you were just growing them in, if that's what you chose to use, um, basically you just want to probably cover it with, uh, with these little ceramic pellets or whatever grow media you're going to use. Some people use ceramic like this, some people also use uh, um, pea gravel. But basically just fill it up to the top. Obviously I didn't use all these because some of the volume was displaced by, by that grow tongue. So we can put in another one there. And now this is ready to be stuck into your hydroponic system. Now, obviously, we're going to want to do this after we have the water and nutrients set up with the hydro system because you don't want this to dry out. Of course, it's in the rock, rock wool, so that'll, that'll help keep it moist. But basically, once that's all, your water is all set up, this basically just drops right in. Turn on your, your, um, <clears throat> your air pump and stick it under a light. Okay guys, so I have this now set up. I put my all the plants I'm gonna have in this. Uh, these three are spinach and the rest right now are romaine lettuce. Uh, those should grow pretty quickly as soon as they are almost ready. Um, I would say another like three weeks once they grow big enough I'll probably use a couple of them and then throw in some of that butter, butterhead lettuce, um, and that you know, so that way I can utilize that also. Um, well, that came out pretty well. Um, I've got the pump going, as you can see right over in the corner right there. The pump is going; you can kind of hear it. And I actually, it's a double pump, and I'm putting both in uh, just to make sure that I'm getting enough air in there. But hopefully these do as well as those. Because those really, really did well. 
If they don't, I'll probably end up switching to just putting, just filling this thing up with, with the same media as this and then, you know, planting them in uh, my lettuce in, in that grow media. So now uh, I'll just keep you updated over the next couple weeks and thanks for watching.